Gangplank ulti. Yeah. And <laughs> the LCK have been the ones really sticking to double teleports as well, holding on to those even after the nerfs. So they're looking at a lot of global pressure here from the LCK side. As a lucky charging in, you know, worst, worst case, lock her down with ulti. We have a gap closer on the Lissandra. And then put the Gangplank mid a little safer. Um, can also get out of the there, so... Baker learned that in the 1v1 where he aged Froggen twice, but he's been able to... Oh, the pressure away by Mara and Skull looking maybe to clean up here. Huni just dings level up. 3. He'll be heading into the bush, gets a knock up red buff as well. Flashes into the minion wave. Skull has to back up. Aggressive vault into the bush as well to maintain vision. Amazing comes in, looking to get the extra damage out before he retreats underneath that turret. Skull will get away. Alright, junglers are going to pass here. Yeah, level 4. So Hawk side three. score. Skull taking a lot of damage now into Spider Foam. Uh, the execute damage was working sure. over the wall. Repel comes up, not in range to jump over. Fake kill the wall. Could potentially burn Faker faster if you had the wall though. Oh, teleport now coming in by Faker. Knockup comes out, amazing forces the flash. Mad life from the bottom lane as well. The roam coming out. Repels comes up, but amazing already used the flash. Is being chased down. Prey Seeker lands. One more auto attack for the concussive blows the prog. That's first blood going over to Faker. Stays a bit too long, and there's the early payoff of the double teleport. LCK holding on to that. Faker gets. Score has a beat on Amazing as he heads down. Amazing's gonna see him now, looking for the gang to happen. Huni comes out of nowhere though with a level six. Score trying to get away from here. Warby get able to get over the wall, survives Ooh. with a sliver of HP. And now Huni goes back into ultimate form and will be heading back top lane, I guess. Make a visit here to Faker. This is a drive by perhaps onto Faker, comes in with the Sky Strike. More autos are coming Got in. Flat. It's the Harrier, the auto, and Huni picks up a kill. Yeah, this is exactly what we were talking about on that coin. <laughs> Level six early, boom, there comes the roam. You have to be so careful. That's the second time that Amazing has been able to land the Cocoon as well on the score to gain map pressure. That just feels so bad. Like, as soon as you get level six, and map on, on the tremor sets. <laughs> Kind of hovering around here. Now comes out of ultimate. Facial path comes across. Mara looking for the lockdown. Flash into ultimate. Score trying to get in range for the knockup, but the vault comes down for the slow. And Score still unable to get in range. Ooh. Trying desperately to do so as Huni retreats underneath the turret, returning damage with the Harrier. Yeah, that was actually really risky of Huni to even try and go for return. Baker did get past level 6 now, so he oh. can actually assist with ultimate. Oh, Mara is very low. Amazing. Just needs to try and execute a Wolf Auto on top of the Venomous by will be able to do so. Repel comes up and in range of the minions. So he was amazing. Rotates over. Again, taking out the first barrel so yep. you can't chain reaction. Marn ultimate not quite back up, so... He's getting so much damage <laughs> down. The war cry from Hootie as well. Picks up the kill as he screams. <laughs> Hootie, I don't know if you guys can hear this, but Hootie's like... <laughs> People. Oh, here we go, another dive. Oh, I feel like I've seen this one before. There's the Gangplank ultimate coming in, clearing out those minions. Marin dropping low, has the ultimate, uses it on himself, gets the heal as well. Froggen will be tanking up the towers, he still has Egg. He's able to take one more tower shot as they are able to cleanly pick up the kill. Mara is well in the finals. Huni looking to gank into top lane. Once again, it's his own lane. And Marin is having a horrible day. Blinding Assault Auto just looked way too easy. As soon as you get Ghostblade on Quinn, has been doing a lot more roaming than we've seen uh, in general from him. But it's really been amazing in Huni. Well, Mad Life oh. caught out Prey, throws Mad Life into the fray and score from the top side. The pincer movement comes down and Katsing will be on the receiving end. Froggen drops low and the repel comes up. He'll have to flash over the wall. Nice flash, but into Marin and he'll get the follow up as Flaker. A faker? It's not a Flaker, but he follow follows through <laughs> with Yeah, he the was flash. there. Picks he was the there kill. on time. Yeah. Also, poor choice there by. Uh oh, here we go. Reckless is uh, circling around Faker. He has to flash over the wall there, bullet time comes Ooh. through. Froggen just obliterates score off to the side. Huni taking a bunch of damage, but he still gets a follow up. One stack of concussive blows from the Winter's Bite. You get but Priority on Dragon has gone down a lot, so you usually just see it picked up after a skirmish. Five members of the enemy team. Let's look like Faker's not going for, hang on, score. Oh, oh, binding assault, so much damage. Has the flash, actually, as he aggroes Grump on the way out. Breathless now comes in. All that time comes across. Mad Life shielding his ally. Marin drops low. There's the ultimate locking down Huni underneath the tower. But Kasing healing is enough to keep him alive. And a 1 and 0. Marin actually fell as he tried to retreat. Yep, went down to the. He cancelled the recall. Prey oh. cancelled his recall. He's toast. Well, he's going upwards, but Huni is always going to outrun him. And oh, oh. oh. I think it's sword, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Hey, God, she comes into the fight, hits him with the auto, shoots him down. Huni falls, and it was all an elaborate bait. Yes, Marin with the <laughs> distortion boots is favorite. I edge because I feel like he would be overcapping on CDR because yeah. he went for CDR boots. Maybe he just needed a 
No, that's he's definitely going in, uh, into I edge second. Oh, All right, there the it is. Insta pop. Guess his revenge coming in. Faker has to flash through that wall. Mad life score still backing him up. The nice one for potentially pick this one up. Oh, oh that parlay. Not quite what Faker really wants there. And uh, Dragon is going to be going over. Winter's by a couple shots in the dark. Not going to be going over it. So again, with the new blue trinket, Baron baiting is not impossible. So you really want to make picks. Oh, like, just like this in the mid lane. Huni leading the charge. Ref is trying to get in range of Mad Life. A double tap. It's coming down. Last auto. Takes him out. And yeah, no flash, no ulti, and no fade scroll available for Mad Life. And they have a fantastic champion, though, if you have the vision control, because it's so hard to face her, let alone she can really cut off the path of the wall right here. Oh, everyone oh. comes out oh. oh, into the bullet time. Huni off to the side as well. The Wombo combo. And Prey will be backing off 2 and 0. Marin only now comes into the fight. Sure. Sounds good. Marin oh. caught out. That's the self ult there. Mad Life, another ult used onto Frog, and that will be backing up. Ren comes through, retreating to the safety of Kasing. Goes into the egg, only goes into the egg. And Long Tower is taking so much punishment. Marin also gets chunked from long range. This tower is going to fall real fast if I don't do anything about it. It already goes down. And Ice looking for the engage. Score taking a bunch of damage in from Huni. And the bottom inhibitor is gone, and Ice will just turn tail. On the wall there. Oh, yeah, right yeah, at yeah. the time, as Osana wanted to try to see there to maybe cancel that gap closer. Oh. Very minute possibility of that working. Oh, Huni oh, turns Huni. around Whoa. 1v2 and jumps into the battle. He has at least behind him, but the shutdown comes, comes in for Faker. Scorp does get caught out, though. An amazing looking for the kill here with the rest of the team. Froggen will supply the damage. An amazing Let's take a bit of damage from Faker there on the way out. Kasing will be taking out this one. And That's maybe the only run. problem with Quinn, is once you get to that point where you have so much damage and so much move speed, you begin to feel like a god and you can take out anyone. Oh, Reckless is going to even the odds there with that ultimate chunking down everyone, though. Yeah, Rapel comes up. Amazing. Looking for an execute here. Mad Life dropping low. We'll be able to get him with the Venom Inspired. Three for one. And after all of that, Marin also taken out after his ultimate. Only Faker alive to defend this onslaught in from Ice. That's going to be another inhibitor turret. That's going to be another inhibitor. Quality predictions here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I think those minions are going down. What, what do you got for us, Grapho? <laughs> yeah. Not much is get, actually getting blocked by that Unbreakable. Well, Pudi, round two. It's damage onto Faker, then backs off. Teleport. But a teleport coming in from Marin. He has his ultimate. Doesn't have the flash, oh. though. Sidestep, but he should be dead. Two rides here as Faker picks up yet another kill. 5 2 and 0. That's something that we do. Uh, this game should end in this game. Ooh, Prey also tagged by the Flash Frost. Top turret goes down. All of the inhibitor turrets are out. They have to go for the engage. Marin gets Ooh. the ultimate down, but doesn't pick up a kill. Mad Life on the front line. So it's Gore. Gets the two knockups. Mahuni is just taking the base and score able to get on top of amazing but not before he just gets taken out that's a lot of damage going into the back line of ice though as the cannon barrage comes down mad life backing off to base faker just dodging all of the skill shots trying to get out of range of this slow field that was an instant mikhail's crucible there from Kusin. well he, he has quicksilver sash as well <laughs> so okay there are two there are two answers both of them were used so that was an instant quicksilver <laughs> sash <and> reckless <laughs> 10,000 gold lead, exactly. That's not to Oh no! Oh, Marin. He's already dead! <laughs> He's already dead! Huni takes up yet another kill. Oh, score. Yeah, I'd like lunch. Follow up perhaps. Reckless in the mid lane, maybe burnt out here, but Prey goes oh. down, so does Mad Life. And Ref is pretty much the only guy who needs to do the damage there. Huni flashes over the wall. He wants the glory. He wants the kill. All he right, picks Faker, up. It's time to shine. Highlight reel. Six skills on him out of the seven. The 1v5. Can he make it happen? Faker. Sitting on the base. Faker! Faker! Faker. He's six and two right now. He's almost there. Not quite. Oh, chunks down Frog. And with the help of the laser, perhaps, may be able to get his down. All right. Ice doesn't actually win unless they... Oh, they oh, go. Oh, they get the Nexus. There we go. EU picking up the win up against LCK, looking incredibly dominant and undefeated 3-0 right now. And North America well calling their down. New Korea They're over trying over. out the chant, see how we like it. Yeah. <laughs> Keeping his lane multiple times, joining in with Amazing, because you can definitely tell that the communication there. Kasing, very vocal player overall on his team. Amazing. Uh, probably with, with Biffy had the best jungler support synergy in the West. Just bring that to the table here too. Yeah, amazing. Constantly looking for those 1v1s with score. 